Hey everyone, it's Caroline and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here it goes a little yeah. something like So I'm so excited to be starting this channel and I wanted my first video to be a reading vlog because this is my favorite type of video to watch on booktube so I wanted to make my own and in this reading vlog I'm going to be reading Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. So I'm currently 200 pages in so almost 50% and I'm loving it so far. It's so good. <laughs> so it's basically about this kingdom and currently a fever is spreading through the kingdom and the only thing that can stop the fever from happening is the moonflower elixir so basically our main character tessa she steals moonflower to give to people who can't afford to buy it and then our other main character prince Korik, is hated by everyone because him and the king his brother have let the kingdom get to this point essentially where the fever is spreading so much and so many people are getting sick and they can't get the moonflower elixir. I am loving it so far. It's so good. The like banter between the character, like all of the characters, not even just Tessa and Korik is so good. It's enemies to lovers and you know, so good. I'm loving it so far. So I just thought that I would just bring you along on my reading journey while I finish this up. And then at the end, I'll share my thoughts. So I hope you enjoy this vlog and I will see you in a little bit with an update. I have my Squishmallow and my book. It's 10.34 and I am on page 270 so I have read 70 pages today. Hoping to get to page 300 and then maybe finish it tomorrow. Then I'll only have like 140 pages left which is probably doable in a day. So this book is literally so good right now. Like it has literally all the best tropes. It has the trope where they're looking at notes in the library and instead of looking at the notes, he's like watching her. And it's from his perspective. He's like, I'm just thinking about her. Like I just can't stop looking at her. I'm like, oh my God. I used to love her so good. So good, so good. I'm so in love with this book. Like, I know it's gonna be five stars. I don't think anything right now can, like, convince me to give it less than five stars. It feels so freaking good. It's just, like, perfect. Oh, freaking out. I love this book. Oh my god. Like, this is, like, just so good. I don't want it to end, but I'm gonna finish it. I will talk to you in the morning with another update, hopefully. Me and my squish ball say goodnight. I will see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> It's around 11 and I have a reading update. So after I checked in last night, I read about like 30 more pages. So I'm on page 308 and it's amazing. This book is so good. So I'm loving it so far. Oh my God. It's so good. It's, it's, I literally just have no words for how it is because I'm just loving it so much. So I'm on page 308 and there's 443 pages in the book. So I'm gonna try to finish this book today. I don't know if that's ambitious or not, but you know, 140 pages, it can be done. So yeah, that is my update and 
I don't think I'm gonna update again until I finish the book unless something happens and like I want to react at the end but I won't do any spoilers because I don't want this to be a spoilery vlog. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna react with my final thoughts and like review at the end. I will see you after I have finished the book! Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I have a big update. I have finished Defy the Night. I did not finish it last night. I finished it this morning. When I woke up, I had like 50 pages left and then I just read that because I it was at midnight and I was like, I'm not going to read these 50 pages because I just can't do that. So I read the 50 pages this morning. Oh my gosh. I loved it, as you can tell by all the tabs. This is definitely a five out of five stars. So I feel like it's just the cover um, part of it. It it helps you to imagine the world and I feel like Bridget Kemmerer does such a good job at drawing you into like the setting and I also think that character wise I thought that Tessa was such a down-to-earth character I think that she's so relatable even though she's in an entirely different world I feel like I could still relate to her because her emotions were just portrayed so realistically which I really really liked and then I really liked how we got Korok's perspective as well because I feel like him and his brother are supposed to be like the villains of the story because no one likes them in the kingdom and it seems like they're bringing the kingdom down and to get his perspective it was really interesting to get this perspective of the villain because I feel like I could almost understand his point of view better and it just helped me to understand the the story better and I think that if it was just Tessa's perspective we wouldn't have gotten this different depth to Cork's character. It was just so it was so interesting. So this is definitely five out of five stars. I 100% recommend if you like a fast-paced enemies to lovers fantasy-ish romance with a super fast-paced plot Lots of action, especially in the last 100 pages or so. It's almost 450 pages. It did not feel like that at all. It felt so much shorter and I can't wait to read the second book. Also, the third book is going to be coming out in 2024, which I'm so excited about. Even though I haven't re even read the second book, I know I'm going to want to read the third book. So stay tuned for more reading vlogs because this was absolutely so much fun and... I loved this book so much. I love Tessa. I love Korik. I love it all. But if you read this book, like, please, if you have read this book, please share your thoughts with me. And if you know of books similar to this one, please, 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 please share them with me because I just need to read more books like this. It has such good tropes. Trope I was describing two nights ago. So good. There's many more tropes, but I don't want to say them because I don't want to give too much away. But this book is just so good. I've used the word so good so many times. I really hope that you enjoyed my first video where I read Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. And please stay tuned for more reading vlogs and more book content. I'm hoping to upload videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!